Hello and welcome to 18 weeks of running out of intros. Starting off the news this week, a Japanese spacecraft has reached its destination, a rhombus-shaped asteroid. Its mission? To collect soil and rocks from its surface and deliver it back to Earth. Hayabusa 2 will launch explosives into Ryugu and will dig out a fresh sample of the asteroid from its surface and then hopefully bring this back to Earth. Staying in the vast expanse of space, scientists have discovered carbon-based molecules in the waters of Saturn's moon Enceladus. Complex compounds like this have only ever been found on Earth and some asteroids, suggesting that their presence is even more evident for the possibility of life on Enceladus. This data came from that gathered from the Cassini mission that ended last year. And just one more from the cosmos, because the Future of Humanity Institute at Oxford has taken another look at the Fermi Paradox, and concluded that it is very unlikely that any other intelligent life exists in the observable universe. In basic, the Fermi Paradox asks, if there's such thing as intelligent life, where is it? The study looked again at the Drake Equation, an equation that basically tries to answer this question. Check out our Mysteries of Life series if you want to find out more about in-depth thought into where the aliens are. Now finally, going back in time, fossil evidence has shown that ancient primates had nails and claws. Their claws would primarily be used for grooming, keeping out parasites like lice. This new discovery suggests that the evolution of the nail was far more complicated than previously thought, and didn't just evolve once on a common ancestor. This could also explain why some monkeys have re-evolved the grooming claw, like the owl monkey. A new type of gibbon, previously undiscovered from science, has been found buried in an ancient Chinese tomb. It has already been extinct, of course, and has been named Junzi Imperialis. It has been suggested that it could be the first to vanish directly because of human actions by scientists in London, who say that all of the world's apes are currently threatened by such activities. The brilliant gorilla Coco has died this week at the age of 46. It is said that she mastered American Sign Language, but this was controversial as experts say that her language skills were inaccurate. Either way, she was a remarkable individual. I urge you to go check her out on some great videos of her on YouTube or on the BBC archives. They really are great. And to finish off this week, paleontologists of the University of Alberta have discovered a new species of marine lizard. The animal, which lived around 70 to 75 million years ago, has its skin and muscle very well preserved. The dolichosaur has been named Primitivus manduriensis and is related to snakes and mosasaurs. I very much hope you enjoyed this week's episode of 7 Days of Science. I'll see you on Sunday for the next episode of Things We Don't Know.